Okay, shotguns are pretty bad, or at least that's what the average player in Rainbow Six thinks. If you run shotguns that aren't the typical mute or smoke, and especially if you run them on attack, you get told you're throwing, you're horrible, you might even get so team bad, killed like, for it. But one day I was feeling a little goofy, and instead of running the best gun in the game, the AK-12, I decided that maybe I should test out Ace's shotgun instead. To my surprise, as well as my teammates, not only did I ace those walls open, but I got three kills too. Figuring this was just a fluke, I put my shotgun passions aside for the day, and then the next day, came around, and I figured I'd bring out the shotgun again just for fun. That's not it though, I did it again! That's Thunderbird. It's Attic. These were my first three attempts with Ace's shotgun, and I had nine kills at this point. So now I'm thinking, maybe I'm onto something. Are shotguns super overpowered? Are they just really strong against defenders who love to swing? The gears in my mind began to turn a little faster, and I came up with this theory. In ranked, especially in the meta we're in right now, people love to play aggressive and hate to drone. This is a lazy playstyle that most people have. So what's the perfect counter to this no drone, low info, high aggression playstyle? Well, I think it's simple. The art of the shotgun. And to test this theory, I ran only shotguns on a ton of different operators for three days straight. Today we're going to break down that gameplay and finally find out the truth of whether or not shotguns are the hidden key to winning more in Rainbow Six, or if you're really just actually throwing. Side note, if you want to have a chance to be in a future video, make sure to join my Discord, the link's in the description. Before we start though, we need to find out what the optimal loadout is for using shotguns. Do we run grip, no grip, laser sight? Suppressor? Okay, well we can definitely cross the suppressor off the list because the chances of them knowing where you are at shotgun range is basically guaranteed, so let's just not throw our damage down the drain like fucking idiots. What about grip though? Does this actually do anything for the weapon? Some shotguns don't have a grip option, while some do. A very easy test between the two can show you that you have more recoil without the grip, so if you have the option, definitely equip it. Now there's a bit of a debate on laser sights for shotguns, but really it comes down to one thing. If you take a lot of fights while hip firing, equip it, and if you ADS most of the time while using shotguns, then don't. The laser increases the hipfire accuracy of the weapon, meaning the spread will stay tighter, landing more pellets on your target and doing more damage. The downside of this is that enemies can see your laser sight, so if you're holding a close angle, they can see it on the wall, exposing your location. I personally like the laser on attack when I'm using the shotgun to make aggressive plays, and then take it off on defense depending on what I'm holding that specific round. So yes, this can change up a lot. So now that our shotgun loadout is ideal and confidence is at an all-time high, we headed into the ranked games to tear up the new meta. Potentially. So right off the bat, one of the best things about always using shotguns is that you never have to rely on your teammates again to make those damn rotates and make those damn holes. Being solely responsible for sight setup is a blessing and you never have to get screwed over again because your teammate didn't impact a rotate. On top of this, you can also make rotates on the go. Whether you're on a roam and need to escape or you're on attack and don't have breaches, the shotgun has your back. This is fucking nice, and was a major contributor to playmaking throughout these few days. Right off the start, those two things are making the shotgun meta look pretty promising. The defense concepts I had were simple. Grab the shotgun, set up the site, and then pick an area that's small enough to fight back but still contributed strong control for my team. That way, I was holding an area that gave me an advantage in the gunfight but wasn't causing me to be useless. On the attacks, the plan was to take control of those same smaller areas if they weren't being held by defenders, but also look for defenders playing on their own. Because, well, if there were multiple, it always ended up with me getting smoked. Now, if I could manage to weasel my way into an unpredictable area, catching them on their rotates back was a breeze. Notice that I said if I could manage because getting out of spawn is one of the biggest downsides. I would have clapped that frost cheeks 10 times over with the AK-12. Once you're in the building though, you can make some nice plays, blasting open walls to take out down guys or take advantage of your utility at crucial moments. I think you smoke deep on the hallway and we push up the hallway and walk into yeah. church double. I'll flash deep too, okay? Ready? <laughs> Not only that, but taking people down from the top ropes is one of the most satisfying touches. One of the best parts too is that it counters people that don't drone. No longer can they rely on luck to get around the building and make the dumbest plays that always work because they'll end up with a shotgun in their face. Using them this way is also super effective.
Okay, okay, okay. It's not all sunshine and rainbows in Shotgun Town, because like I mentioned earlier, it's a shotgun, not a lot of range, and sometimes this will cost you or your teammates their lives. For example, in this circumstance, I definitely could have taken out this alibi on the first swing, but instead my teammate got the double peak slapping of the sentry, costing him his life. Remember that rotate discussion from earlier though? Well here's another great way to use a shotgun to enter the building from different routes. This allowed me to get into secret without busting down the window or making too much noise. Getting into these spots quickly and having the shotgun at your side allows you to catch these rotates and collect free kills super easily. Just. Don't. Whiff. Bro, at this point, I think I had my whole team convinced that this was just the new meta because my boy daddy over here was packing up the enemy team Let's with a shoddy and sending them back to the silver lobbies. Let's, thank you daddy. Oh my god, let's go daddy. Next up we hit the shotgun headshot only terrorist hunt, which was very difficult. And then we went into competitive matches using the shotgun theory. So I queued FPL Challenger Division, which is essentially a 10 man custom game server where you play a bunch of matches and at the end of the season the top players win some money. You play under pro league rules and the players are pretty good. Now we were getting pretty fucked up by the other team and stat wise I was not doing so hot. So I threw in the towel on the shotguns for the match, and this is what happened the next round. Was it Mozzie or is that your dunk? Yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, shot hall, shot hall. I got him, I got him, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. I'm going front with JB, I, I got nade. I can nade hallway if you thatch, right? Hey, they're both broken right now. That's all I did. Nice. He's back close to it, yeah guys, I don't know, I don't know about shotguns and comp, but like shotguns and rank, definitely the move. It's pretty easy to tell, shotguns are not the meta in competitive, but that's a whole other story. In comp, people play smart and are really only aggressive when they need to be. There's not a lot of holes in the attacks or defenses, and shotguns are usually just less than ideal. So once that game was done, we headed back to the rank trenches to continue on with the theory. I can't say it got much better though, because the teammates I got were Piss. Not only did they give up before the game even started, but on top of that, my shotgun strats completely destroyed the team morale. 1v5 halfway through the round? I guess that's my fault. 1v5 40 seconds into the round? That's gotta be on me too. So I'm not sure if my teammates here were just terrible, or if my shotgun just completely crushed their hopes of winning, but regardless, we got fucking rolled. <laughs> this guy is so mad, dude. But then I made a new discovery. Not only have I seen the Thunderbird shotgun run a lot in the Asia Pacific Pro League, but almost more often than the AR is, and after playing it for a bit, I think I understand why. Firstly, this shotgun is a beast. It does tons of damage and is semi-automatic, so you can just spray people down. And secondly, Thunderbird has the bearing nine secondary. Having the secondary SMG, you can actually stand a chance at fighting people that are a little too far away for your shotgun to be useful, and it seriously helps out on the defenses. So in defense, I kept running these operators with a shotgun primary and SMG secondary to see if I was on to something. Nice smoke, nice smoke, dude. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Look at this. But he's getting tweaked and peaked. Oh my god. Potentially blue bar. Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen and blue bar. As you can see, it worked out really well, until this happened. Hall of Fame. So yeah, sometimes they just don't kill them, which kind of sucks. So at this point, we were kind of at a stalemate. Were they good? Were they bad? Would I be better off just running regular weapons? This next game would decide whether or not the shotgun meta would have potential or just completely fail. Right, this. Is he still on the desk? Can you ping the left side of it? Yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. One sec, one sec. My line. My line. Look at another Looking down your hole. Okay, they're moving. They're on the box now. Um, I can't ping them, but like, right to my ping. More right. More right. Yo, there's one more. I know what you're saying. Yes. Yes. I knew exactly what you're saying, dude. Oh, I just saved this guy's life. Wow. One reporter, one 
I'm yeah, getting some he cams. I got the flank locked down. But you don't know, you don't know about the meta, huh? By the rotate. Now everyone was locked. Nice, last one in A bomb by the rotate. He doesn't know what's up. I, I, I give up, bro. He doesn't know what's up. You got it. I thought that Fika was gonna get him. Shotgun 4K, baby. Shotgun 4K. That's what's up. Oh, he's 90 window. He's red. I like that now, huh? You have been spotted. Where is he? You have been spotted by. Red. Is he not? Bro, what is he doing? What is he doing? What is going on? Good game. Good and game, with guys. eight kills and zero deaths, we confirm two things. Now is definitely a top contender for the best shotgun map, and the GIGN shotgun is a fucking unit. It's got range, it's got damage, and it's an attacker's best friend. Running it on defense is less recommended as Doc and Rook's utility isn't going to bring much for your team in comparison to all the other ops, though. <laughs> nice try, Washington! And if you do decide to run it on defense still, make sure you don't accidentally shotgun your teammates. At least not if it's this guy. Bro, bro, my hand wasn't on my mouse. I don't know how that happened. Dude, he's so mad, like... Wait, what? The next game we combined all the lessons of the previous matches to get the ultimate shotgun user cafe attack. This guy and this is how it went. Yeah, but the you know, he's on, he's on that's the mute, that's the mute. One on the piano. I have a, one, I have one, a fucking revolver, bro. He's trying to find me right now. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, you're better. Okay. Oh, he's you. He's in freeze, in freeze. Yo, yo, come, come cart, come cart, come cart. Yeah, yeah. Ready? I'm going on the other side. Okay. 15 seconds left. Question freeze. Yo, he's uh, behind S2, S2. Or B2, B2. Shaco? B2, B2. Down, down. Five seconds. In Shaco, in Shaco. No, you were so close, bro. He's behind me, a zombie, bro. So, yeah. We still lost, but it was close and definitely showed some of the potential we have with the shoddies. In the end though, was it worth it? There were some highlights, there were some lowlights, but how did I really feel about all this? Do I love playing with shotguns? Yes. Is it something you should do every round? Absolutely not. Once in a while though, and especially if you're struggling with the enemy aggression, dropping to the floor with a shotgun or getting aggressive back with them can be one of the best options that is not taken advantage of enough. If your enemies aren't droning, go on a roam with a shoddy. I guarantee you'll be able to shut them down as long as you don't whiff. Staying unpredictable and implementing the fear of an ever lurking shotgun around every corner is a huge asset and getting in the enemy's heads that way will definitely help you win more. That being said, overplaying the shotguns will definitely constitute some counterplay from the other team and at some point Point, you'll become your own worst enemy. Great job, Bandit. Oh, it's you, Fox. Thanks, man. Thanks, man.